Hi, this is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you so much for joining me on my daily numerology and astrology. This one is today for September 14th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 18. And if you add the 1 and the 8 together, you get the number 9. So what happens when you are full, filled, and complete? The number 9. You must begin something else. I think that is why so many people do not want to let things go, because then you have to make a conscious choice to step into the next thing, the next level, the next mature choice. When you hang on to a past situation, you never have to grow, and growth is a choice and an action. Sometimes we do not get what we want, and that harsh reality freezes us into a place where we cannot let go of something. We hang on to a dysfunctional past, going after that which does not truly belong to us. When you let go and allow yourself to feel through the grief of that loss, then you learn a lesson that is critical for your soul's evolution. You have to learn to accept and move on. In doing that, you keep the beautiful memories and you make a choice to let the hurt go. That is how you complete and express the number nine fully. What or who do you need to let go of in your life? What are you hanging on to that you know is not really going to serve you? It is time. Take a breath and move forward with your life. You have a real life waiting, not the life of some fantasy or illusion. Today's astrology. The moon continues in Leo on Monday, but with a slightly harder edge the best way to handle it is to be honorable and more creative and loving to everyone around you. If you know you are amazing, then there's no need to prove it. Kindness counts. The sun makes a harmonious trine to a deep feeling Pluto. If you do not yet know who this gorgeous person is living inside that body, take some time today to appreciate all that you are, all that you have been through, and all that you have the potential to become. Today is a day for sharing your vulnerability, but that is not always the most comfortable thing to do in the moment. You will find skills that you do not know you have and attract those that you that can see your love and light. Share, connect, and allow the magic to give some peace in a crazy world. You will notice those elements that are harmful in your life and will choose to not engage those that are contrary to your essence. We are moving towards more cooperation, clearer focus, and a practical ability to connect with others in ways that allow them to know the real you. My quote for today. There once was a moment in time and space where this earth was powerful and filled with grace, but man decided he would take control and take it all because it was his ego's goal. But he took what was not his to claim. He took it because of fear and intense disdain. God watched man destroy his beautiful earth, stunned that mankind did not see its worth. God decided that mankind could not refrain from finding fault and desire to complain. He wondered at the mind inside that could not see past its own pride. He knew that some were not ready to choose a world that they could not control or abuse. But in the hearts of a very few was something stirring and coming through. There was a spark of true divine light that could see past the ego's delight. They wanted a world more organic and true, one that was just right for me and you. And my blog for today. Yay, the sun is shining. Yes, it's still smoky, but the air is so much better, and I know that there are places that it's horrific. Okay, so I'm I'm just grateful that after two weeks of this, that I'm in a place where the air is great. So the smoke is lessening, and we are hoping for rain on Tuesday. Um, the Northwest, uh, Washington and Oregon, are going to get rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but we probably are only going to get rain here on Tuesday. But Honestly, I'll take every drop of water I can possibly get. So I'm grateful that the air is better. I don't know how the animals outside have coped. 
but I am grateful for the California fire crews that have been doing so much to help the people and the animals. They are some of the kindest people in the world, going door to door, trying to get a map of who is staying and who is going. These people do a tremendously hard job and deal with people under stress and freaking out. Yet somehow, they still manage to be kind and fight a raging fire at the same time. Wait a second. How is what they are doing different than what each of us is feeling about our real world? Well, if they can do it, why can't we? Now, these people do not get paid enough in my book. They are angels in a human body. So thank you to our local fire department and how they seamlessly coordinated with CAL FIRE. All of you are awesome and we're incredibly grateful. Thank you.